हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टुडे आई थॉट टू मेक अ वीडियो अबाउट व्हाट आर माय फ्यू ऑफ माय डिटेक्टिव स्टोरीज दैट आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर विद ऑल ऑफ यू गाइस सो एज यू ऑल नो दैट व्हेनेवर वी जॉइन एनी न्यू जॉब ऑफ को एनीवेयर और देयर आर पीपल हु आर प्लेइंग प्रैंक्स विद यू द सेम आई टेल यू द सेम इज हैपनिंग ऑन बोर्ड अ शिप so here are some of the stories that i felt it is worth sharing for everyone who is trying to go into shipping or who wants to know some of the real fun that we have so let's get started first story as we go is about the key key of the ship so i went on board and i joined as a trainee and the first day i went to the engine room and there was chief engineer and second engineer and then they were all talking and i go i introduce myself okay and this cadet etc etc this is my first day on board and then they say okay so you are here to work on the ship but do you know we need a key to operate the ship of the engine so i said no no chief i do not know about any key or what to do about the key so he said okay now we are waiting for you in the engine room go to the deck and take the key from the captain and then report back as i was young and naive i just you know threw all my stuff and then as chief said okay go to the bridge so i went to the captain i told him captain chief engineer is asking for the keys and he was saying what keys and i told him chief the keys for the engine and he was standing there and laughing at me and he gave me one of the keys that he used for his locker and then he told me okay try with this key. so i took that key i thought maybe this is the key of the engine and i took it to the chief engineer and then he told me Okay so do you think this is such a massive engine and only a small key can do that go and tell him to give you the big key and i remember i was running again back to the bridge and then when i went there i asked that chief engineer is telling me to get the big key and then he told me there was this cardboard key with that they had made for playing pranks with the cadet and he gave me that big key like the one which you get for the cars and when you take a delivery of a new car then you get this key and he gave me that big key and he told okay go to chief engineer and give him that key and when i went back everybody was laughing at me and like an idiot i was carrying the key like this okay chief we are ready to bring the key and now we can start the engine so that was my story number one so the next story that went was the electricity bill of the ship and uh, it was i think 10 or 15 days that i joined on board and i was in my cabin i was just sleeping and you know relaxing something then suddenly i hear a knock on my door and i opened it i was you know kind of tense that who is trying to call me or what is the problem and then there was this electrotechnical officer who was standing with a print out in his hand and then he just gave me the print out and he told me okay so you are using a lot of electricity you are using a lot of laptops and lot of you know music players and we can hear the music so here is the electricity bill for you i am the electrical officer on board and he handed me the bill and when i saw that i saw i saw 250 dollars printed on that and i remember my salary at that point of time was around 450 dollars and when i was looking and i was staring back at him that 250 dollars I cannot afford this only my salary is 450 dollars and you are giving me a bill of 250 dollars but it told now okay now you have done that so you have to pay and to, uh, take the money to the captain and then go and pay him so i <laughs> i was such an idiot that i took the money out of my wallet the first salary that i received i had taken some cash at once and I, then i went to the captain and i said okay captain may i come in so he said yes how can i help you i told him that okay captain this is my electricity bill so he was saying oh god not again somebody is playing a prank on you guys just understand and i was standing there again laughing at myself okay well done okay well done the third story that goes by was uh, i had indian crew on board and once i remember i was going on a shore leave and uh, you know cadets are the first priority okay cadet come with me so i was going around on the shore leave with one of the engineers and there was this indian guy who gave me 10 dollars and he told me can you please bring a toothbrush and toothpaste for me so i said okay why not i am just going out so i'll bring that for you so i remember i went outside when i came back i handed him the toothpaste and the toothbrush and i gave him the remaining 3 or 4 dollars that were remaining so he said what you were giving me back the money are you a real cadet so i said yes yes of course i am honest i don't want to give anybody's money 
so he said yeah yeah i am not saying that you will keep the money but cadets generally you know if you are a true cadet then you go and you eat and you enjoy with the money that indian uh, crew members are giving you and then nobody minds that so i said okay okay i'll remember that so the next time i was going ashore then the same guy he told me okay i need a shampoo a bottle and then i need some kind of deodorant and he gave me some money and then i took and i came back and i bought the shampoo and i gave the shampoo back to him so he was saying okay uh, this is the shampoo but where is my deodorant and it is not a very expensive shampoo so where is the rest of the money so he said what rest of the money and what rest of the money i ate ice cream and i bought myself a backpack and i bought myself this and i bought myself that and then he was standing and staring at me and he was telling me see get it up see get see get very nice you should be like that so the this is this last story that i would want to share of course no more after that <laughs> and this happened with me when i was signing on for the ship and i did not know much about the ranks i only knew that i was a cadet so my training officer will be the second engineer and he will be the one who will, you know check my assignments and give me daily jobs my friends had already told me okay he is second he is your boss and this and that so i was you know pretty much aware okay second engineer is the training instructor so i was going on board a ship and then in the hotel room i met one guy and he told me okay you are going on this ship so i said yes i am going on that ship only so he said i am the second then you know i was all terrified and uh, i was saying okay okay he is second so i should be you know a little bit give him some respect because he is my training officer of course and i'll be spending a lot of time on the ship working under him so yeah so he sometimes he was telling me okay just you can come into my cabin and then he said okay do you want to eat ice cream i said yeah i would want to eat ice cream so he said yeah okay go down the hotel room and then you can see there is this ice cream vendor and get uh, both of us an ice cream so i was running you know and then he gave some money okay okay second is saying so i have to get him an ice cream so i went down i bought an ice cream i gave it to him so he said okay okay very good very good then the next time after some time then he went we went to the restaurant for the dinner together and then he was telling me okay do you like that do you like that what are anything that you want the uh, dinner is on me and you can eat whatever you want because and i did not know that all the expenses are borne by the shipping company thank you must like and uh, i did not know that uh, everything was sponsored so you know a fresh cadet i had not eaten anything good very nice in a very nice restaurant or something in a five star restaurant and i was ordering okay get me this get me that get me this get me that and then in the end he just signed and he said you see your second is so good so i said yes your second you are very nice you are getting me all this and then in the last i remember when we had to go on board a ship and the agent called us so he was standing there and telling me okay can you pick one of my bags and because you have only a very small bag and i have you know two three bags so i said yes yes of course i will help and then i took a, i took his bag and went on board and the next day what i was seeing them was that i met him after breakfast and he, there was this guy who was standing in the galley the galley is called the kitchen of uh, the ship and then he was standing on the kitchen and he was washing plates so i went and i asked second why are you washing plates there is this specific guy who is washing the plates so he said hello i forgot to introduce myself i am the second cook and not the second engineer so i said oh my god what is happening with me and the second cook let me tell you second cook is like you know the helper of the cook and he is cleaning the utensils and he is helping in making the food when everybody leaves he is helping in maintaining the place and maintaining everything hygienic and then i was standing again and i was looking at him okay <laughs> so all that thing that you did to me and you were telling me second so he is saying yeah of course i am second but you did not ask what i was in front of that so i was said yes you have a point so yeah these were some of the stories that i would want to share and i want to also tell that this is just some harmless fun that people do with the new cadets on you and then i joined the ship for the next time as an officer then i was also playing a small of my pranks like in jinki and electricity bill in my cadets it is just to make a environment a little bit funny and make them comfortable because you know everybody is coming and nobody is uh, fully aware what is happening on a ship how life is there what you do what you are everybody is scared about how to do all these things helps us in relaxing and motivating yeah so i would say this is not some kind of bragging but this is some kind of fun that everybody is doing just to make the atmosphere a little bit lighter so those were my stories and if you want to hear some more stories then you have to subscribe hit like subscribe and press that bell icon 
I'll see you next video. Bye.